back to today's project. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Lots of big things planned that you don't want to miss. Summer is winding down and autumn is on the way. And that means campfire wood season in our area. The calls and emails are starting to roll in. I thought I'd share how I make bundle wood for little or no cost. I haven't seen anyone else use this method, so stick around. Maybe it'll help you. But first, I need a place to keep the bundles for sale and customer pickup. So I'm building a quick firewood stand from scrap lumber I've got laying around the barn. Nothing crazy. Building off a plastic pallet. It'll be easily movable and won't have to worry about rot from the ground moisture. Three sides and a shed roof. I didn't draw out any measurements, just kind of cutting and putting it together as I go, using what I have on hand. A little measuring, a little cutting, a little fastening, and a lot of sweating. I'll speed this build up so I don't bore you. Here's the finished product. My buddy had this salvage green roofing. I think it looks great combined with the board and batten siding. Looks awful empty. Let's get it stocked up. This is the pile we made with the Timberwolf Pro HD processor. If you missed that video, check it out. After this one, of course. Poplar, maple, and some other random hardwoods mixed in. Majority of my bundle wood clientele are campfire novices and are usually local campers or burning in a backyard fire pit. I make sure the wood's super dry and has some small splits mixed in so building and starting the fire is relatively easy. I still get a few phone calls from time to time questioning the process but I'm always glad to walk them through it. The Split Force 1320T makes short work of splitting this stuff down. I really enjoy using this splitter. It's been a game changer for me.
I set my pallet forks at a comfortable working height, spaced about 16 inches apart to match the length of my firewood. You could also use saw horses if you don't have something with forks on it. Here's what I use to make my bundles. Nothing fancy. The ends cut off of a five gallon bucket, a couple C clamps, and some industrial shrink wrap. The shrink wrap's from Amazon and comes with the roller handle. I believe I got four rolls that are five inch wide by a thousand foot long and two handles for 27 bucks. Haven't had a failure yet. The cut up buckets attached to the forks with the C clamps, and then I fill them with wood. Not too tight, not too loose. Half a dozen wraps or so around the wood and that's all there is to it. The top ring of the bucket is wider than the bottom so everything slides out easily. I don't do a whole lot of bundles so I can't justify a purpose built bundler. Especially when this works so well.
let's fill the stand while it's here in the barn and carry it up to the road. Looks great. And now we wait. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next project.